Oh, nice and high and up top. There we go. Yes, I just jumped on him. What's going on everybody, Dragas here, and today we're playing some of The Last Leviathan. Now, uh, just some quick notes, this is going to be released on June 22nd. This is actually a special build for me. So yes, they're actually still developing the game to the last day, but they decided to give me uh, some early access to it to check it out for you guys to see how it is. Because it is so similar to something like Besiege on my channel, they figured, you know, you guys would be a good audience to showcase it to. So yes, I just want that to be noted that this is not going to be the early access version of this game. They are updating it throughout the weekend and working around the clock to improve it. That's not saying it's bad though, I haven't actually checked it out too much yet, so I'm excited to try it out, build a boat, and hopefully battle some other boats and have some fun. So let's get into that, and yeah, we'll quickly overview what this game has to offer. So first of all, we have the Voyage Mode, which is coming soon. This is a mode where you build, sail, navigate, and fight across the seas. So kind of like uh, the story mode of the game, if you will. Uh, I don't know if it has survival aspects or not. Uh, but yes, this is more of the story mode. Creative is basically a sandbox where you can, you know, create whatever you want, but you do not fight in there. And then we got Battle Seas, an ocean of fights and challenges, including survival, last man standing, racing, waves, and many more. Okay, so that's where the survival aspect is, and there's a bunch of different mini games it seems like, so I'm excited to tr try that out as well. And we also got Versus, so this is just if you want to fight against another boat and compare boats, that's what you choose to do that. So for today, I think we're going to try Battle Seas. That sounds pretty cool to me. Uh, there's currently only one uh, thing released, which is COG Class 1. You can see all these other classes. I'm assuming it gets harder as you go down the list. Let's try out this one, and now we got to build a boat, so this should be fun. Okay, and here we are in the last Leviathan. As I said, very similar to that of Besiege. We got a starting block here, which is, of course, the steering wheel for the ship. And yes, we have a bunch of different things we can use to design this ship down here. You can see this is all the different hull type things. Then we got movement things, so you can either have sails or, of course, propellers. And then weapons. There are actually quite a few for right now. You got range weapons, impact weapons, incendiary weapons, and that is it. Now, they did mention they are working on a bunch of other blocks, so right now it's kind of bare bones, very similar to Besiege in the early days. Uh, so yes, we're going to try and build a ship here. I did build one really quickly before this video, and it did not go well. I didn't realize that there was actually this, this decking stuff here, which makes the uh, ship more buoyant. So I think I'm going to start with this, and then we'll see where we can go from there. And I just realized I put this upside down, but you know what? The checker pattern is not even in the right order, so I'm not going to deal with that. We're just going to have a nice red floor. Okay, and let's make this a bit of a slope here. I'm not going to make anything too crazy right now, only because, well, I'm not a very creative person. I'm just going to do a generic boat style, you know, almost pirate ship style boat here, and we'll see how it does. Okay, and the first floor is done. Can we actually put these things here? Let's... Oh, this is confusing. There we go. We can do something like that, I guess. Uh, I guess technically we could use some of the actual side ones on the back here, too. So we're going to delete these and then go with these, which should make it look a little bit more sleek as well. Yes, definitely. Okay, and we're going to go down one more level here if I can actually do that. Can I put this sideways? It's not letting me. So I'm assuming what i got to do is actually use this wooden decking down here and then attach anything I want to that. Okay, that should be good. Now I should be able to, yes, attach it to that. There we go. So now I can finish up this side and still have some air in there so it's a little bit more buoyant. Uh, yes, I have really have no idea how to build a boat, guys, so I'm hoping this thing works. I have no idea, though. I mean, I mean, it does look very ship-like, as you can see. I'm actually impressed with the look of it, so I'm hoping that if it looks like one, hopefully it acts like one as well. Okay, there we go. We got the back all done. As you can see, it looks fabulous. I can attach uh, some motors there, and that should be totally fine. Uh, now I just gotta quickly finish up this front. I actually forget kind of how I did the back, so... Let's just kind of wing it here and see what happens. So this goes like this, and then we want these things on the side here. I mean, everything comes together really easy. It's very easy to build in this game, as it should be. It's a building-focused game, so that is definitely nice. Okay, and on the front, I opted for a little bit of a different design. I don't know why I decided for that. It does look kind of cool to me, though, and I, it should 
float? I mean, it's totally closed off, so that should be fine. Uh, famous last words, though. We're gonna find out when we actually take this thing out. Anyways, let's add some, uh, propellers here. We're gonna add two of the max propellers, and then one of the big actual rudders here, if I can. I don't know if I want to put it at the middle of the boat. Uh, but that's my only attach point, as you can see. I didn't really think this through. Okay, what if I put a square block here like that? There we go. And then I should definitely be able to put an actual rudder right on that. There we go. That's perfect. That's actually a very big rudder for this little boat. But uh, we're going to keep it on there anyway so we can have some good turning. Okay, now it's on to the fun part, the weapons. And the destruction in this game, I will say, looks absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited to try it out. Uh, so we got a few different types of weapons here. We got triple mini cannons, so if you want a triple shot, that's pretty cool. Just generic deck cannons, and then we got fire cannons, and then mortar cannons. Uh, as for the impact things, we got uh, different types of things. Crab claw ram? Are you serious? Is this just a crab claw? It is. It's a crab claw with ropes. That's brilliant. And my question is, where the fuck are they finding crabs the size of this? My god! And then we got some spikes here. These are beautiful designs. You can see these huge-ass swords. I actually saw these in the trailer, and I absolutely love the look of them. Uh, so yeah, if you want a melee build, you can definitely do it. That would be... That actually looks really cool just like that. Two on each side and go for it. Uh, but unfortunately, I want to try some cannons out right now. We'll try a melee build out uh, later on, though. And finally, we have some flamethrowers as well. You know what? We're going to add two of these on here at least. Uh, we'll do the, some of the lower ones, because we are on a low-tiered bracket here. You can see my ship exceeds the power restriction for this class, so I'm already over the power restriction, and we haven't even gotten to the weapons yet. And I almost forgot, we got to put some armor on this thing, but I'm realizing now that you can't put armor on these side things. There's attach points, but as you can see, it only attaches to flat surfaces on the top. So that kind of sucks that I can't have any armor on this boat. I mean, to be fair, most of this is going to be underwater anyways, just by, by the way I designed it. I Hell, this thing might not even float. I have no idea yet, so I'm just kind of... I kind of want to finish it up and see if it can actually float, and then we can obviously uh, fine-tune it from there. Okay, but let's put on a few of these cannons here. Ooh, this looks fucking horrifying. I love this art style. We're going to do three on each side for right now. I don't think we're going to need more firepower than that. And yes, aside from that, for right now, this is all I really want. So let's set sail and see if this thing can work. And every ship needs a name. You actually cannot save in this game unless you name your ship. I appreciate that because if you don't know in actual ship sailing, if your ship doesn't have a name, that there's some stigma behind it or something. I don't know, but basically every ship in the world needs a name, so now we got one. Okay, and let's set sail with this thing, and hopefully it can come. <laughs> back up. Uh, yes, it's a bit back heavy. Oh my god. Okay, well, now we got some problems. I'm gonna have to put uh, possibly some more weight on the front or more buoyancy on the back. And explosions. <laughs> okay, and after many tweaks later, I got an actual functional boat here. So yes, it's very hard to get the buoyancy right as well as the weight distribution because it does take a play into this game where your front is just sinking and your back staying up and whatnot. Uh, this boat right now is workable. It's not perfect by any means of the word, uh, but at least I can actually drive around with it. Now, I did drop my propellers down a tier just to slow them down a little bit because I was actually going so fast that was my major issue. Uh, there was no amount of weight I could put in the front that would keep the, the bow down. Okay, so let's try this thing. I did test it out, and it does at least float. I don't know how good it actually is, though. So here we go. You can see uh, some of the water coming into my actual creation, but at least it's staying upright, and I can actually control it now. Uh, I did put some melee things on the front as well as some fire cannons, so this is kind of like a hybrid build. Uh, got some long-range cannons on the side and then some melee stuff on the front. So hopefully it can take pretty much whatever this game throws at me. Okay, we got a ship over here. I am... I don't know how close I should be with these cannons. What the fuck? Oh, you've been spotted by a pirate ship. Okay, so it goes all white whenever you are spotted. Feel free to see me, buddy, because you're going to be seeing my cannons in a second here, bitch. Oh, God, it's actually quite big. Okay, so let's actually... Oh, wait. I was supposed to... I'm really confused now. Okay, it's only got one cannon on it. Thank God. Okay, so let's try that again. I do know that you can actually, yes, attach yourself to a cannon. There you go. You can get a first-person view. And you can either shoot these all at once or one at a time. We're going to shoot all at once here. I'm just going to wait for him. I, he doesn't have too, too much firepower, so I'm not too worried about that. There we go. I don't think I hit him at all. Those cannons went in the water, unfortunately. And what I really like about this is you can actually still drive your boat while you're aiming up your cannons. So, uh... 
That's really convenient. All right, let's try a bit higher this time. Way too high that time. Oh, man, I, I, I have to get my sea legs on. This is way more difficult than it seems. Okay, there, I missed again. I am the worst fucking pirate of the seas. To be fair, having these cannons so low to the water makes it very hard to aim up. As you can see, most of his boat is below the water as well. All right, come on, come on, please. Oh, my God, this is embarrassing. All right, you bastard. Yeah, come right up on me. There we go. <laughs> Finally, I did hit him quite a bit there. All right, I want to get out of this view and actually start trying to ram him if I can. I'm actually stuck on him right now. Okay, we're gonna try and ram him here if we can. There we go. Oh, we didn't actually do too much damage. I guess you gotta be a little bit faster than that, but we can put him on fire. There we go. Yeah, you better run away, bitch. I got a flamethrower on you. Oh, this is awesome. I love the flamethrower. Okay, so that should be good. Let's go back to the actual cannons here. Uh, yeah, I do want to go on this side. Oh, what the hell is his mask just flew off. There we go. Oh my god. I missed every fucking shot again I am the worst pirate of the seas Thankfully this has a quick reload time because I seriously am missing everything like every fucking shot. I, I think I missed everything there, too Okay, no excuses now. I have a good shot on him. I should not be missing. There we go. That's what I wanted. Destruction. That's all I wanted. Battle 3 1. So, yes, I did do a few battles off recording. Okay, and the way this mode works, it's pretty cool. Basically, once you kill an enemy, another enemy spawns. There's also. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm going to go over and see if I can loot it, maybe? The Kraken wakes? Did I just see that at the top? Am I fighting a Kraken? Oh, shit, that's not good. Yes, there is sea monsters in this, by the way. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what the hell this is. Okay, I think I know what this is. You can actually replay a fight if you go back and click it for whatever reason. If you do want to redo a fight on the same boat. So that makes sense. But it said the Kraken awakes. So I'm a little worried, but is there a Kraken around here? Okay, I don't know what that Kraken reference was about. You can see the Kraken wakes once again. I'm assuming he's somewhere here. Oh, you motherfucker, you actually got quite a bit on you, don't you? Ah, uh, <laughs> this is really cool. Uh, there's a lot going on all at once, though, so I, I do like the way it feels, but I would like maybe some quicker changes between weapons. Oh, can I hit him? Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, come on, come on. Oh, shit, I don't know if I hit him or not. Now, I do know that I did put him on fire, at least. All right, let's slow down here a little bit, because I do want to get a good shot off. You can see it's quite wavy out here. <laughs> he is right behind the wave right now. All right, there we go, there we go. What the hell? Oh, I'm, I'm right sideways. I didn't even notice. Oh, yes. That was a good hit. You can see the shrapnel coming off the boat. Oh, this is great. I'm going to have to get a little bit closer. These cannons are pretty hard to aim. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I dodged that one. That was awesome. This is the oh, fighting in this game is what makes it, man. This is a really good sandbox game with some amazing fighting as you can see. Battle 4-1. Yes. Okay, we got another pirate ship here. It looks really low to the ground, actually. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at. Is that like a submarine ship combo? What's going on here? All right, let's try and flame him at least. Yes, there you go. Feel free to cannon me. I'm going to put you on fire really quick. All right, ram him, ram him. Oh, shit, or go on top. Of him. What the hell? This is awesome. And by the way, you can shoot cannons without the first person view. It just, I, I don't personally like the feel of it because it's extremely hard to aim, as you can see. So I prefer going into first person. Okay, coming in close and personal. Let's do this thing. Here we go. And fucking missed. Okay, well, at least we got two more shots, and I missed those as well. God damn, the sea is too damn wavy. I think it's more my boat design. It's very wobbly. I think I need more of a flat bottom, and that's my biggest issue. I'm actually going underwater a lot of the times with my cannons, and they are deemed pretty much useless once they're underwater, unfortunately. Oh, nice and high and up top! There we go! <laughs> yes, I just jumped on him. That's one way to ship battle, I guess. Oh, yes. Feel free to hit me. That's cool. Oh, oh, it's a little bit wobbly. Oh, I don't know what you did to me, but I'm going to do more to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. Did I kill him? What's going on with this little thing over here? Alright, Battle 5 has won. Can anything in the seas beat me? And for the record, if you are curious, because I know a lot of people are going to ask, yes, this game does have multiplayer in the works. It will not be available during release, I don't think, uh, but it is of prime focus. And with a game like this, it's going to be fantastic with multiplayer gameplay.
Okay, pirate number six. Can you beat me, good sir? Oop, you got a lot more defenses, I'll tell you that much. But you just let me walk into you and put you on fire, so that wasn't a very smart idea. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I'm, my shots are finally starting to actually hit now more than not hit. As you can see, I have gotten the bullet drop down. It does have quite a bit of bullet drop, so you have to get used to that. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, shit. He hit me as well, you bastard. You're not supposed to hit me. There we go. Battle number six has won. So my boat may suck for aiming, but the good thing I'm noticing about it is it's got such a low profile, these ships can never freaking hit me, because most of my ship is below water. Oh, I've been spotted? I'm not even paying attention. Where the hell? Oh, he's right over here. There we go. What a freaking shot. That was great. Oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh, God, what is going on? Oh, I won! Okay, <laughs> I don't know how I won, I didn't even shoot! He must have killed himself! Okay, and that was a quick look at Battle Seas. I really like the idea of just constant waves of ships to kill. I mean, it just basically makes fighting easy. But the unfortunate part is I made a very overpowered ship for the early tiers of Battle Seas. So what we're gonna do is actually verse it versus itself. I'm assuming I can do that anyway. So hopefully newbie versus newbie. Yes, there we go. Select location. So there's different maps it looks like. Well, at least right now there's one, but they're planning on doing different maps, which is cool. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna fight our actual ship and we can see if we can beat the bots. Okay, and here we are on the seas versus myself. This is going to be fun. I feel like this is going to be a really close fight. Uh, it's going to be very hard to hit him as well because he's got such a low profile. Okay, and here we are. Let's flame him up a little bit. Yes. Oh, uh, But it, it seems like when the actual hull goes underwater, yes, the flames stop. So if you have a craft like mine that goes underwater all the time, flamethrowers are basically pointless, it seems. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> As you can see, he's shot, but all his cannons were underwater. Oh, God, he's shooting really quickly. I forget, I, I have the highest tiered cannons on this thing. All right, let's start to man the cannons as well and see if we can take him out before he can take us out. Definitely next episode, I'm going to make a ship with higher cannons. These ones that go under the water, extremely annoying. And, oh, he fucking ran me, you bastard. I actually can't churn for some reason. Oh, that, that was a little bit of a glitch. Okay. Well, he got a few shots off on me when I couldn't. So, uh, if I died, that's going to be the, my excuse. Okay, you bastard. Yes, feel free to show me your haul. Oh, shit, 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 shit. This isn't, this isn't good. All right, I, I'm spending way too much time trying to aim up. I think I only got two cannons left. Oh, God, we're going down. Fuck you, bot. You beat me. Are you serious? And explosion. Okay, guys, well, unfortunately, once again, the robots have reigned victorious. I am a scrub, and I cannot see battle for anything. But yes, guys, this was a quick first look for The Last Leviathan. Again, if you're curious, this will be released on June 22nd for Steam Early Access. And they will be adding a little bit to the game. They did tell me they are working around the clock to get this thing ready for release. And my personal opinion, for an Early Access game, it's great right now. Uh, I'll, I didn't have any issues aside from a few small bugs, but uh, nothing game-breaking or anything. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Last Leviathan. We will be following this on the channel every now and then. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, thanks for watching and liking. I will see you in the next one.